So here I am at Colesville today to talk about an insect that is a quite a pest in most gardens called aphids. Aphids are soft-bodied insects that come in a variety of different colors. Some of them are even furry. Those are referred to as woolly aphids. Um, they are usually seen in big clusters on your plants. Um, what you're going to notice is a sign that they are what's damaging your plant. It's kind of a puckering, curled yellow leaves where it looks like the nutrients has literally been sucked out of the plant. This causes uh, stunted growth in the plant, extreme stress, and sometimes can lead to death, which is why it's always good to stay up on our pests to make sure that they're not overwhelming our plants. Um, some easy ways to avoid aphids and to treat aphids um, are these three products here that I'm showing that you can use preventatively and to treat our aphid, an aphid population. Um, so neem oil is a really great spray that you can preventatively treat with. If you start spraying this at the beginning of your growing seasons, you have a good chance of keeping them off your plants. Same thing with this soap if you want to use something even gentler and more safe for the environment. This is what we recommend for products that you may be inhaling or eating. Neem is a little bit better for garden products like flowers and trees. And then this is a great preventative treatment. It's simply a cover that literally physically keeps the aphids off your plants. Another great way to keep aphids off your plants is to host ladybugs. Now you can buy ladybugs, but you can also encourage them into your environment. And if you do buy ladybugs, it's good to have host plants for them. Plants that will make them stick around so that they're not just looking for aphid populations because once they eat your aphid population, they may leave the environment. So it's good to have something that keeps them there so they can constantly treat any kind of bug that may come in your way. Um, things like dill, cilantro, milkweed, garlic, achillea, and coreopsis are all good plants that host ladybugs. Another good way to kind of trap our uh, aphids is to plant nasturtiums. They greatly attract ladybugs and uh, they will kind of trap those populations away from your other plants as they are so attracted to them. So if you plant nasturtiums around your more desirable plants, they will go to the nasturtium over your desired plants. So those are just some quick, easy tips on aphids and how to deal with them. Uh, stay tuned for more information about plants, uh, cool natives, and other interesting gardening stuff uh, the rest of the season.